hi everyone, I just want to talk to you quickly about these fruits here. These fruits are called tamarind. Yeah, and um, these tamarinds are um, very high in nutrients. It's a tropical tree. It grows um, in several parts of the climate and around the world. It produces large amounts of um, pods filled with paste like sweet and sour fruits. Interestingly, the pods of the fruits are green and sour, but when ripened, they are juicy and sweet and as a paste textures and more sweet. Yeah, the tamarind tree it and its fruits can be found in Africa, Pakistan, India and other parts of the tropical world. It is also known as a hardwood tree, scientifically. The, the health benefits are, the fruits are filled with amazing nutrients such as iron, calcium, phosphorus, copper, vitamin B1, thiamine 43%, potassium, vitamin B2, um, <coughs> flavin, and magnesium. In summary, the tamarind and it's spelled T-A-M-I-R-A-N-D tamarind are known to be the beneficial um, plant's compound and it uh, contains mineral amino acids and vitamins. It is good for medical, it played an excellent role in tradition, traditional medicines and beverages form. It is widely used to, for treatments of constipation and diarrhea, malaria, fever, the bark of the tree also um, used to promote wounds healings. It has um, um, polyphenols and it's um, antioxidants and it's inflammatory properties and also it protects it protects against disease such as cancers and diabetes. So these are very very good. You know these now these are ripened. This one is not so ripe. This is green, but it also <coughs> excuse me. It also carries like three segments, like one, two, three segments. This one has three segments. This one has four, one, two, three, four, five, oh, five segments. Also, when you open these, these are the shell of it and the fruit contains inside. When you open it, you will eat the fruit inside. And these are the pips. These are the pips. They're like stones, kidney stones to me. They reminded me of kidney stones that I used to come across like um, during my time of work. Yeah, so these are the stones very hard and also the tree you could not plant the tree in your yard or in your back garden because the tree is widely grown very very big very very large hanging out uh, hanging all over the gardens all over the next door neighbors and um, you know you have to make sure that when you're eating these these are very ripe they're not green because when they're green they're very sour and as I say they're very nutritious and very very nutritious yet yeah? So these can be found in only tropical countries, not cold climate countries. You cannot get these in clim cold climate countries. This is what, um, where it's grown. You can find them also in Jamaica, you can find them in India, Pakistan, and all these sort of places, yeah? Um, very, very big tree, very, very nice indeed. So um, I've learned these again. I remember that when I was a little girl, my um, my sister, who used to look after me, she used to go and get the bark, you know, to cleanse the boil, the tea, to cleanse my clone, to cleanse me. It purifies your body. It's very, very high in um, in health wise. It's very, very high, nutritiously high. So when you when you drink the tea of this, you know, although you don't add any sugar whatsoever, the sugar will take away the taste and also it wouldn't be so effective. So you have to drink it very, very um, as how it is boiled in the fire, you know, you have to drink it. But you don't worry about taking out these pips out of it, you just um, boil the bark of it as well. Yeah, so these are what we used to eat when we were used to coming from school in Jamaica. So I'm not afraid of talking about these. These are fruits, you know, so um, these are very, very good. So I hope that you will learn something away from this, you know, and um, you can do your own research on this as well. So thank you so much for listening to me and um, watching my video and um, share, like, share and subscribe to my video. It takes me time to go out and to do this research. Thank you so much, Jay. Bye.